I'm going to tell you guys right now, like this is one of the more impressive demonstrations that I can show you guys to just kind of show off what the C1 is like. It's crazy smooth. It's really a beautiful TV. I mean, I have like no complaints right now. I'll try to lower down the ISO because it's getting a little bright here. I don't know if I can. Hopefully that shows off a little bit more. This thing is incredible. Like I'm, I'm, I'm impressed by it. I am. I think it's an extraordinary TV. I really, really do. Because like it's so difficult to get this level of motion on a TV. Like this is the kind of motion I've been looking for. Like where everything is just super clean, super clear, super smooth. And it's, it, and it's enjoyable. It's very nice. Now I've got my C10 on at the same time and I'll kind of zoom back here. So just for perspective, you guys can kind of see what it's like when you look at both displays. But ultimately, it's super clean, man. Like it's super clean and you'll see more judder on the C10 if you really look for it. You'll see more posterization in real life. I don't know if that can show up on camera, but I mean it's incredible like what the C1 is doing for motion it really is now one of the things that I will mention again is contrast is way stronger on the C10 because of HDR effect mode which is basically my main bread and butter mode but if you don't use that maybe it won't be I'll try to show you guys with this demo I don't know if you can kind of like rewind that back and see as that PlayStation logo kind of came in you'll see more posterization around the color blue than what exists on the C1 on the C10 to the left. But essentially, I mean, like, they, they, they're they great TVs, both of them. I mean, I don't have a complaint right now. Really don't, outside of, obviously, HDR effect mode being gone. That's my big gripe this year. Like, they did us so dirty with that because that really, really limits what the C1 is capable of, and it, it could have been prevented, if I'm being completely honest with you. And I mean, when you look at the colors, I mean, they're they're incredible on both TVs. They really are. I'm enjoying the hell out of this right now. This is like a treat for me. Though that C10 does have the extra like kick as far as contrast and everything. So I think imagery overall does have more like, I don't know, impact, if you will, on the C10 because of that. And I'm, I'm still very sour that they took away the HDR effect mode. Now, maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe I just can't find it. Maybe it's in some secret menu somewhere. But it's definitely not in the main menus where normal people will be looking for it. So if somebody finds it, let me know. But as of now, it doesn't exist. It's not here, man. And that's pretty unfortunate. It really is. But other than that, damn, C1 is killing it, man. Like, they're they're absolutely wrecking it. It's, it's incredible. Now, I, I haven't sat here and done a full-on calibration I'm just trying to give you guys literally like early, early, early preliminary like results and like I've dialed it in to a degree. I'll say that. But I haven't gone in and given it all the sauce that it could possibly have just yet. But as you see, it's doing an incredibly good job of keeping up with a TV that has all the sauce. So I don't know. We'll see where it goes. But essentially, I think it's doing pretty damn good out the gate. Now, motion wise, again, it's just. It's a smoother TV, but I think, like, they really, they need more dynamic range. They really do. It, it's it's pretty apparent that the C10 is better. It's also brighter, so if you see certain parts of the C10 clipping out, don't freak out. Because this is not, like, my good camera, so to speak, where I'd be able to show everything off. But I think you can get the idea, and that's why I'm doing this. So you can get an early idea if you have to make a split decision really fast. And you don't necessarily have the time to wait for a proper comparison. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Uh, there is more artifacting on the C10 by far. The C1 is just way smoother. So again, motion is your real big gain this year. That's the thing that really is going to stick out like, wow, this is a total winner is the motion. But yeah, hopefully this finds you guys well. Thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. And stay tuned for more C1 videos. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later.